Dear friends, this is bad news. New data has unveiled that nearly two thirds of seniors are very unhappy with the 2024 cost of living adjustment. Top analysts have confirmed three main reasons why the program is financially inadequate. Congressional lawmakers are being forced to make a big decision for the future of the program. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these details. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. Every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos. And then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you so much, Chairman. Thank you so much, Director Chopra. I want to talk about something that my residents are actually asking me about、um, specifically.、Uh, of course, CFPB has been incredibly responsive with a number of fraudulent cases, issues that are coming up with folks as credit card companies. So I appreciate your team and your staff being so responsive to my team.、Um, they really are getting callbacks and feeling like they have an advocate in the CFPB.、Um, as you know, nearly one in five Americans,、uh, American adults, are burdened with medical debt. And this is something that I've been continuing to talk about with many of my colleagues here. You know, I feel like it's completely wrong to have medical debt、uh, way down on credit reports. And you and I know no one chooses to get sick, and I know you have personal stories yourself,、uh, but medical debt should not prevent somebody from securing a home or even education basic needs.、Um, I've even had residents talk to me about the fact that they had to sell their home because of medical debt、um, and,、uh, or get another loan on their home because of medical debt. In my own district, we've had residents who are veteran seniors report challenging、uh, just difficulty in paying. Three to four thousand dollars in medical bills, or and then they're on a fixed income. And, and these are folks, by the way, that get their stuff garnished,、uh, um, they go after them. And these are people that are actually insured. Let's, let's understand they're not uninsured, they're actually folks with health insurance that are still facing a high burden of medical debt. And so for me, I was so incredibly excited that CFPB announced a rulemaking process. Uh, to remove medical debt from consumer、uh, credit reports, which I also called for you know, in my Restoring Unfairly、uh, Impaired Credit and Protecting Consumers Act.、Um, and so, Director Trump, can you describe,、um, because I think it's important for my colleagues, really, if you listen to this, this is important, because even Chairman McHenry talked about the fact that he paid his bill and it still showed up, and the inaccuracy of, of、uh, you know, Uh, debt that is showing up on people's credit report. I mean, collections are inaccurate, things are already paid.、Uh, our medical service that they occurred many, many years ago are all of a sudden appearing、uh, from decades prior on people's credit. It's really unbelievable the stories that are coming from many folks. So, can you describe some of the billing and collection practices that motivated CFPB to take action? Well, what we saw is that the largest item of delinquent. Uh, I, derogatory items on a credit report was no longer credit cards, no longer a normal loan. It was allegedly unpaid bills. And the very common experience was people say, I, I'm disputing this, this is wrong. And then they go through this endless paperwork process to do it. And we know this is not like a normal loan. This is a situation where there's a back and forth between the insurance company, the provider, the facility. And we have found very serious inaccuracies. And I think it has just raised the question about given its limited or almost you know, no predictive value in cases, is the credit report just a way to coerce someone to pay something they don't owe? The 2024 Social Security Cost of Living Adjustment has not even kicked in yet. And already there is a major pushback against it from seniors. Who don't think it will be enough to cover essential items. Nearly two thirds of Social Security recipients, polled in one recent survey, are very dissatisfied with the 3.2% COLA in 2024. This is while more than two thirds in another survey say their monthly bills for certain essentials are already 10% higher than one year ago. A separate survey conducted. Found that 62% of seniors who collect Social Security benefits are not happy with the 3.2% COLA 
for 2024, nearly three in five seniors collecting Social Security are struggling financially. The annual Social Security COLA is intended to help seniors deal with the rising consumer prices. It is based on the percentage increase in the CPIW in the third quarter. A COLA of 3.2% would only add an extra $57 a month to the average Social Security retirement benefit, which was $1,797 a month in November. So that's a significant drop from the average monthly increase of about $146 based on the 2023 COLA of 8.7%. Also, when Medicare Part B premiums go up, the COLA impact does go down, and that will happen in 2024. In October, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services said the standard monthly premium for Medicare Part B will be $174 for 2024. That is up from $164 this year. So dear friends, what are your thoughts on all of this? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Also friends, according to Yahoo News, mortgage rates hit the 6% range for the first time since August, and many housing economists believe that the trend may continue. The average rate on a 30-year mortgage dropped to 6.95% from 7.03% the week before. Thanks to the latest overall inflation data, housing experts are predicting near-future rate cuts that will bring mortgage rates even closer to 6%. This would help the slow and expensive U.S. housing market that has sidelined many homeowners and prospective buyers over the last 12 months, Freddie Mac's chief economist said in a recent statement. Given inflation continues to decelerate and the Federal Reserve Board's current expectations that they will lower the federal fund's target rate next year, we likely will see a gradual thawing of the housing market in the new year. Since financing rates soared last summer, homeowners and sellers have been stuck in a market gridlock where owners are not selling in order to keep their low interest rates. The majority of buyers cannot afford the extra financing costs, resulting in the lowest pending home transaction volume in nearly two decades. But that could soon change as housing experts forecasted rate cuts in 2024. The chief economist at the National Association of Realtors believes the Fed could start chipping away at rates as early as spring. They could reduce as much as 100 basis points by the end of next year, which would bring average mortgage rates down to about 6.3%. Another expert thinks rates below the 6% range would turn the market around, bringing back inventory and lowering home prices on top of reducing borrowing costs in 2024. Well, my greatest and most beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Dear friends, this Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, Please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.